Hello, everybody. It is a really, truly good hello, everybody. My name is New Age Soviet, and I am back. That is right, guys. After a very long hiatus, I needed some time to think. I needed some time to process things, consider if streaming is something that I still wanted to do. And there's nothing more that I want to stream right now for you than pray. It is out right now. I have it fully downloaded. It is right in front of our face, guys. And we're going to get into it. Brand new. I'm excited. Use your wits, weapons, and abilities to survive. Uh, I don't know how difficult this is going to be. I'm just going to play on normal. I'm going to be a man. I've already decided I'm going to be a man. I'm excited this. I'm excited. This is going to be really, really good. This has been basically advertised as Space Bioshock. Space Bioshock. Can you believe it? Oh my gosh. I am just, I am, I am so excited for this. You guys don't even understand how excited I am for this. All right. <laughs> so while it's loading in, as I said, yes, I am back from hiatus. Um, something hit me a couple weeks back, and I decided that I just I needed to take a break. And I didn't know when or if I would come back to streaming. But I've gotten some encouragement from people. And I think... Uh, I'm ready to get back into it. Good morning, Morgan. Today is Monday, March 15th, 2032. Is it? 2032? That's 18 years from now. Controls are weird already, but I will get used to them. Really great you decided to come on board. We're gonna shake things up. Whoa. Like old times. Yeah. Ah. Ooh, I got emails. Congrats and welcome. Hello, Morgan. So glad to, to hear you'll be coming aboard soon. Your first official workday is Monday, March 15th. But first, we have a series of training exercises we run with all new employees. Just some stuff to clear you for life in orbit. Exciting times ahead. Have a good flight, and I will see you soon. Thomas Tucker, Human Resources, and Talos One Re Research Facility. Okay. Hey, I sent you a package with everything you'll need for the first day. Uniform, transcribe, and a neuromod. Install the neuromod right away as we'll be running tests first thing in the morning. Just follow the instructions. I'll be in touch, okay? Hey, I just got off the phone with mom and dad. They won't, they won't be there when the shuttle departs. They're in New York company stuff, but they sent their best. But they send their best. I think mom's a little disturbed that both of her children are going to be outside of the gravitational pull at the same time. She said you'd better behave and do everything your big brother says. Okay, actually, she said the opposite. I'm supposed to behave and to do what you tell me. So there you go. That's mom. Anyway, anyone, everyone's excited about your ideas up here. So get ready. I'll probably call you in the morning to make sure you're up. See you very, very soon, Morgan. Alex. Well, that's exciting. My brother's happy to work with me. 
Hands-On Electronics. Excerpt from the preface on Hands-On Electronics by Antoinette Sokol. By working through the series of practical experiments, this humble manual will introduce you to the fundamental of modern analog and digital electronics. By the end, you'll be able to construct any simple circuit. As Thomas Edison once said, to invent, you need a good imagination and a pile of junk. That's exciting. I know where my uniform is. I'm looking. The method dot sci, an excerpt from Architects of Neurological Revolution. What if I told you I can turn you into a mathematician on the level of Einstein in under 10 minutes? I'd say you're full of it. The first thought that crosses my mind, but it withers in the face of Alex Yu's conviction. Despite myself, I'm riveted. He's not bull BSing me. Himself? Maybe? Me? No. Alex leans back in his chair. Welcome to the age of the Neuromod. Well. I'm going to take that wine for later. Note. Congrats. Thank you, brother. Heart of the Walk. Excerpt from Chapter 5 of Heart of the Walk by, Doc by P. Su Do. Cooking with a well-seasoned walk can be sublime. Almost spiritual experience. The many... Layers of the blackened surface are like stored memories of all meals that have gone in and out of the carbon steel bowl before. Now imparting echoes of their rich flavor to every new meal it's tasted to cook. Well. Yep. Ha <laughs> ha. I didn't like that mug. Whoa. I can pick up the fridge. I'm going to take everything that you got in here. Oh, this is... This is interesting. Encyclopedia of Food and Science and Cooking. Excerpt from the entry of the Encyclopedia of Food and Science and Cooking, 2033 edition by Elliot N. Snow. Ooh, you can move the menus. That's neat. Transglutaminase, or TG, or TGAs, is naturally occurring enzyme found in plants, animals, and bacteria. TG is often used to bond protein containing foods together and in the production of foods such as imitation crab meat and fish balls, known colloquially by chefs as meat glue. Chef's Shaw's tip, gluing chicken skin to salmon will actually protect the outside of the salmon from overcooking. Interesting! Interesting. What do we got over here? What do you got? What is this? Give me this. I want I want to read this. Neuromod application instructions. Warning. Neuromods should only be administered by certified transar technicians under controlled conditions. Subject may experience slight discomfort, swelling, or redness of the eye shortly afterward. Remove neuromide from vacuum sealed container. Press rubberized eye cup firmly against the bony orbit of the eye socket. Open, keep eye open. Depress orange release trigger and continue to hold Neuromod against the eye for five minutes. Dispose of used Neuromod and provide biohazard bag. Okay. Well, I put on my uniform. Is there anything in here in the bathroom that I needed? No. What is this? Interesting. Morning, Mr. Yu. Oh, hello, Patricia. Heard there's a chopper on the roof. Must be for you. Oh. Ooh. 
There is a helicopter on the roof. I'm a Sybil 495 science class operator. It won't be long before you're on a shuttle bound for Talos 1. Transtar has over a dozen state-of-the-art facilities across the globe. More, if you count the entire Earth-Moon system. My instruments are calibrated for high-volume data analysis and live readings. Don't worry, nothing will be missed. Everyone's eager to see what you're capable of, Dr. Hugh. I know I am. Should I change position? Our research often requires intense focus and long hours. I can provide you with a psychoactive stimulant after the test, if necessary. Uh, okay. I'm sure your brother is waiting for you. All our labs meet the minimum. <laughs> Strange. That's never happened before. I'll have to file a maintenance request. Please excuse me, Dr. Yu. What, what, what was that? The elevator will take you directly to the testing area. I don't know if I want to take this elevator. The ele elevator might malfunction too. 9 a.m. Appointment in the testing facility. Please confirm. Morgan, finally. Hey, you don't look terrible in a Transtar uniform. How's your eye? Still red? I know the test might seem a little unconventional, but it's a you family tradition. Breaking convention is in our blood. Once you start the test, just do whatever comes natural. Don't overthink it. Dr. Bellamy's gonna walk you through the process. You're in good hands. Am I? I have we'll a feeling be things you're not gonna, are going to reveal otherwise. I promise. Mr. Yu, they're ready for your brother in room A. Right. Listen, just be yourself. I'll see you after. Uh-huh, I doubt it. You're probably the villain of this game. You're villainous! I'm sensing evil plots. You will not sway me. And hello, Eric. Welcome to the stream. I'm happy you could be here. Good morning, Morgan. I'm Dr. Bellamy. Looks like we have some tests to run through today. Probably not the kind of thing you're used to, I imagine, but trust me, you're going to do fantastic. Am I? All good? Great. Let's begin. For this first test, I'd like you to remove the boxes from the red circle as quickly as you can. Just go with your gut. Okay? Wonderful. Press the red button when you're ready. Ooh, I like pressing buttons. Wonderful. That's... You're absolutely... 
absolutely fine. Uh, let's move on to room B then. Okay. Okay, Morgan. Listen carefully. I'd like you to do your best to hide in this room. Take your time, relax, think it over. No, I'm kidding. You only have nine seconds. Hit the red button when you're ready to start. Morgan, we can see you there. Hmm, uh, Any synaptic register at all? No? I'm, I'm done with this. Sorry, let's keep things moving, Morgan. Head into room C. You're doing marvelous. See, I can hide behind this. All right. Here we go. For this test, please press the blue button across the room as quickly as you can in the most natural, intuitive way possible. Without hey, thinking. Just, just press let me press buttons. Press the red button when you're ready. I want to press buttons. I'm sorry, can someone please explain to me what's happening? Simmons? I installed exactly what Tina brought down. Did you double check? The speaker's still on. I apologize, Morgan. We're having some trouble with the equipment. Not your fault. You're doing fabulous, actually. One last room. Let's step into D. Uh-huh, uh-huh. You're full of crap! Let me press the dang button. I don't want to sit down. Can someone get me a cup of coffee? I would appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, Morgan. Have a seat at the table for me, please. Wonderful job. Take a look at the screen in front of you. Okay. I'm going to show you a series of questions. Pick the answer that makes the most sense to you. Okay. Press start on the screen when you're ready. You're planning on going on vacation. Go somewhere familiar you know and love. Whatever or try something on. new. I think, personally, I'd like to try something new. Good. Looks like you've got the hang of it. Keep going. You've been sentenced to death for your actions. How does this make you feel? Well, if... That's, that's just me. Mm, that's heavy stuff. A runaway train is bearing down on five people who are tied to the track. You can cause the train to switch tracks, but there's one person tied to the second track. Um, yeah, that's utilitarianism. I'd rather save five people than one. I'm just going to be honest with you. The runaway train is bearing down on five people. You're standing on the platform next to an enormous fat man. Pushing him onto the track will stop the train. <laughs> Push the fat man! Almost done. <laughs> A runaway train is bearing down on five people tied to the track. You can stop the train by jumping onto the track, but you would die. Um, absolutely. As I said, I'd rather save more wow. people than that. Well done. Well done. We're nearly through it. For this next part, I'm going to display an image. I want you to take a good look at it. In a moment, what? I'm going to ask you what... Uh, my coffee... Ah! What the heck? I don't know very much about this game to be honest with you. I know that it's basically it's been called Space Bioshock. Um, I know that there's a glue gun and I know that those enemies are called Mimics. What's going on? We have a problem. What about Morgan? He's alive. Sedated. Clean it up. I'm on my way. Got it. If you just used me, oh buddy. 
<laughs> you aren't my sibling anymore. I'm going to. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm, gonna, I'm, morning, I'm, I'm gonna destroy Today you. Today is Monday, March fifteenth, twenty thirty-two. What? No, 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 this isn't right. I'm gonna quickly recheck all this stuff, see if there's anything new. That, that's all I know about. Oh, we got more emails. Danger, leave now. Oh. Leave now, leave now, leave now, leave now, leave now, well, hands-on electronics, we've already read that, we've already read this, I don't trust anything now, I didn't read any of these books. On account of Fermi's question, excerpt from a book that is the existence of the extraterrestrial intelligence by Dr. Robert James III. Consider that there are billions of stars in the galaxy like our sun. Many of them are far older. Some of these stars will have Earth-like planets. Some of these planets may have developed intelligent life. Some intelligent life may develop interstellar travel. If a civilization began before ours, it seems possible, even probable, that even at the spread of current envisioned interstellar travel, they could have already had the entire galaxy colonized. The problem is, we haven't detected such any, any such civilizations, nor have they contacted us. Nor, nor have any contacted us. Why? Ooh, that... That 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 uh that begs like interest like an interesting like problem, like um if you guys are familiar with Star Trek, one of the ideas in Star Trek is um uh, civilizations with advanced technology um, don't contact us because they're wary of us knowing the they're wary of us knowing the advancements of of technology, so they only they'll only contact us when quote unquote you know. We have the ability for interstellar stellar travel. It's interesting. It's an interesting thing. Midnight Songs, a classic anthology of Tang Dynasty verse. I can't read that. Excerpt from the Principles of Neuroscience, 10th edition. The brain was once considered a too warm, wet, and noisy for seemingly delicate quantum processes. However, the discovery of quantum coherence and biological processes such as plant photosynthesis, avian, that's weird, okay, avian navigation, and our own sense of smell paved the way for the eventual discovery of quantum vibrations inside the microtubules of neurons. Introduction to Survey of Parapsychological Meta-Analysis. They have seen, they have seen reality TV, probably. <sighs> For example, conducting a meta-analysis of over 2,000 Gansfeld trials wherein participants are subject mild sensory deprivation in order to test for telepathy reveals a at a hit rate of 39 percent these results are statistically significant meaning that the success rate is above what could be explained by chance alone there is no denying it something spooky is going on you're you're telling me you're telling me pal excerpt from the principles of neuroscience 10th edition the brain was once considered oh wait we already read that Engineering Controlling Systems. Excerpt from this book. Ba, 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 ba. There is a metaphor here, you know. Typically, the objective of control theory is to monitor the output of a system and compare it with the desired output, the reference signal. The difference between the actual and desired outputs, the error signal, is applied as feedback to the input of the system. To bring the actual output closer to the reference, good control systems and good engineers learn from the past. I concur. That sounds relatively good. 
But ooh, let's play some Xbox. Your Xbox is broken! Backing up and I'm leaving. You don't throw very hard. All right, let's 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 redo this all again. Going to bed. I'm going to bed. this. I have a flashlight? Since when have I had a flashlight? What happened to poor Patricia? She was a nice lady. Hello, Morgan. It's time we spoke. My code name is January. You're not dreaming. What happened yesterday was real. If you want to know what's going on, first, you need to get out of your apartment building. You're not safe. Clearly. Sleeping, wakes up, turns off alarm, checks transcribe, on computer, various tasks, takes a shower, puts on uniform, exit apartment. Or watch. Well, at least they have the respect to give me privacy when I'm showering. Alright guys, we are in the thick of it. Marking the entire school as defective. Investigate with fabric fabrication marker. Okay, so something's going on. I don't know what. No intelligent life is coming anywhere near a planet that has Jersey Shore. <laughs> I like it. The password I call 086. Reminder about company. Oh. This is just a friendly reminder from the relevant portion of the policy handbook. Password protection. Do not share your passwords with anyone. Passwords are sensitive. Well, he's already done that. Note from this morning. All. <coughs> oh, I'm sorry. I don't know what just happened there. Ooh. It's that a coffin. Oh, all I know is this morning this incident has left people shaken. To prevent unnecessary panic, please refrain from contacting people outside of your department. A station-wide announcement will be made shortly. In the meantime, Ms. Alazar and her security team are on high alert and will field any requests you have. I know some of you are worried about Dr. Balami. He's currently being treated in the trauma center and is in critical but stable condition. Thank you for your patience. Dedication to this project. <clears throat> Bad install. Simmons, the test results today are negative. Did you want to install the correct neuromods? Touch base with Graves and figure out what went wrong. This should be your absolute highest priority. Well, my brother is definitely up to no good. Debriefing safe. We're going to have to get in there. There's going to have to be a code. CF3.
What? The Hefesh just hefty twist and loop handle wrench is a standard issue for all maintenance personnel employed under Transtar facilities. Good for all, a liberal application of percussive maintenance and mechanical agitation. Okay, I've figured that out already. I'm not leaving here without that safe code! I'm a responsible gamer. Oh, we also have a sprint. Nice. Ooh, we getting drunk tonight, girl. Oh, I saw it. Done get me the spooks. Killed it. I had some kind of status. Okay. Uh huh. It's the bigger hammer wrench. F uh, uh. Yeah, it's the bigger hammer wrench for him. Let's see. I see a. Th I see a three. One four three one, maybe. They've been messing with me this whole time. Quick select. Okay. I've already read that. Looks like zero six three one. Okay. I mean one six three one. Okay. Well, let's head back there and check.
I'm glad you saw that, Eric. I appreciate that. One, six, Push this button as many times as I like. Oh, that felt good. We were never able to finish that test. Alex has requested all orders to go through him after about Morgan's outburst at the debrief. Pending a psych evaluation, Alex indicated he doesn't want any more surprises from Morgan, nor do we. Granted, Morgan has forgotten everything from the last test as expected, but the aggressive response to the same test of testing criteria was a clearly a departure. My recommendation is we need to start charting personality drift before future tests and debriefings, and with that, the test itself. One six two one. Okay. Well, we're we're slowly making progress here. I'm willing to jump back and try that safe as many times as necessary. Hello, Matthew. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to Prey. Live now. <laughs> the brand new game from Arcane Studios. The makers of Dishonored. But a game more like Bioshock than Dishonored. Which is funny because I think Dishonored is kind of like a Bioshock clone to begin with. Alright. Crumpled paper. Take some crumpled paper. You never know when you need some crumpled paper. It's going pretty well. Pretty well, my friend. Glad that you could be here. What do we got in here? Um, yes. Oh. 
three daily tests. If you've, if you've been on branches of our main product line, you know sometimes we need a little extra effort to hit our milestones. And any external risks can be fully taken into account when these decisions are made. The move to extend indefinitely was a direct request with both Alex and Morgan. Dr. Bellamy. At this point, Morgan's exhaustion is inhibiting our ability to get any useful results. That's to say, that if the, of the long-term damage, we're likely inflicting the constant neuromod insulation and removal. Tell me again why we've even extended the testing indefinitely. Okay. All right. Well. Poo. I jumped over that railing and I was expecting something interesting. Although, the only thing number-wise that I have seen is this. 744248. But there aren't even close enough amount of numbers. Great wire. I imagine we're gonna have like a crafting system in this game, which I will love. Oh, that's what that status means. You're fatigued. Can't say you have work. That does sound nice, Eric. Not to be able to have work in the morning. I've had a very stressful work week myself. I wouldn't mind not being, being not at work in the morning. But, going to work is always a nice thing. You, uh, you earn moolah. Moolah is a good thing as well. I wish that I could pull. Like, I wish I could pull on the whiteboard and maybe the, the code would be on the other side. But, I'm stressing too hard about this. What if, like, it said that my, my... DLC that I got with the pre-order had finished downloading. What if that's what that was? Like it gives you the code with the with the DLC. Hold on. I want to check this really fast. I'll be right back in just a second. Okay. All right, I am back. Make sure that you guys can hear me. Oh, I get it now, Eric. You can't stay. You have work in the morning. Gotcha. Well, I hope you have a lovely night, my friend. Thank you for being here. And I hope you will join us on our next adventure in Prey whenever I decide not to stream it at such an inconvenient time. But I was so excited. I was like, I got it tonight. I was like, we need to play this tonight. By the way, I got the code. Ooh, I don't know how to use that, but. Ooh. Okay. 
sweet. What's this game about? I don't know, man. You're on a space station. Um, something's fishy going on. You have to figure out what's going on. Your brother's involved. And there are enemies called Mimics. And they can change into a whole array of things. And it's it's like... Uh, it's scary Bioshock in space, man. And if you guys know anything about me, which you probably don't know because I've never streamed that content, but I played it years and years ago, I love the Bioshock games. I love Dishonored. This is made by the people who do Dishonored. So this was a no-brainer. I had to pick up Prey. <laughs> me likey. <laughs> me likey too, bud. Me likey too. What do we got here? It's a comic cup! Ugh, uh, there are the mimics! The mimics are everywhere! Mimic tuber. Necro. Necro. Oh, man. They're introducing a whole bunch of weird. Oh. Oh! Where did you go? Woo! <coughs> Man, part of my cough. I don't know. I'm still suffering from whatever was causing my st that that weird coughing fit earlier. Windows, but I can't break windows now. No one has been able to stop the mimics from multiplying since they broke containment. I'm going to help you stay alive. Just a little further. Can I just stay in there? Apparently they can't get to me in there. Ooh, my back. Thank you. Let's see. Sorry, I had to cover up my cough. Joven, we need the room updated with a new test plan. Configurations are as follows. Area of effect, copycat, spooky action. Let Simmons let us know if anything changes. Know about this morning. Hey, I think Balami's taking data related to mimicry and remote manipulation out of the research department. Get to the trauma center and grab a key card to the cabin off his body. I'm sorry to be morbid, but Alex will lose his crap if anyone else finds that data. Good to know. I want to uh, I want to get in my brother's crap because he has he has betrayed our trust. Play your way. Experiment with different approaches to overcome challenges and enemies. You can get past the locked door by searching for the key card or finding an alternate route. As you learn new abilities, more options will become available to you. That's neat. That is so neat. 
So I can play this however I wish. I can be resourceful, which I know that's you. I see you. Stupid mimic. Stand-up notes. Reorder tests, Lucian observation, flammability test canceled, indefinitely. Alex wants to do great Morgan before the test. <coughs> Hacking one required. Hey Alice, I'll send you the white paper Alex and Morgan wrote. There's, here's the nutshell version now. Gaining a new skill from a neuromod works similar to the way your brain creates new memories. In fact, it's impossible for, for now to separate the changes the mod makes for normal memory formation. So if I want to strip the neuromod that makes you play piano like Gustav Leitner, it'll reset your brain back to the moment before you installed it. They wanted Morgan's mind pristine to receive prototype neuromods. That means going <clears throat> way the hell back. Hence the apartment sim. Yes. Yous are dedicated to their science. Is all I can say. Hit me up for lunch later. Whoa. Okay. Well that explains that. So I've been used this entire time. I'm just trying to make sure I don't run into a dang mimic again. Let's see, this dude's computer is locked. Let's see if we can get into our suit chips. Oh. the sound of that. Oh, you're a big mimic. an interesting thing about the glue gun guys the glue gun here you go the transstar glue cannon or jelliform latinous organism obstructor disables and or immobilizes targets without harming them glue can extinguish flames and temporary stop electric arcs when hardened glue can also be used as a climbable platform this gun is going to be my best friend i mean just look at this this is what glue is guys this is what glue is in case, you, in case you guys have not seen anything. This is glue. This is what glue is. Don't you just love glue? Get down there, Natasha. Give me all your glue. 
I want your glue. <laughs> Ooh, are you ready? We're gonna use it on that mimic right there. have a lot of glue actually. I'm, I'm actually really impressed. It's in the display case. Oh. Neuromods and abilities. The Neuromod is a revolutionary transstar invention that allows you to learn new skills and abilities. <clears throat> Hence the Bioshock in space. This is our plasmids. Or our uh, vigors, as you would you call them. One of these neuromods that we get eventually is should be the mimic ability. Is that an engineer ability? Leverage. Repair. Position. Yes. We're gonna do this for right now. Ah! Kind of looking around, buddy. Don't you rush me. I'm kind of important to this game. Uh, I guess you could say I'm the I'm the protagonist. Skill recording room. Interesting. Ooh, there was glue. There's glue, there's a way. I'm sorry guys if I'm running back and forth. I'm just I'm so captivated. The game is brand new, it's out today. I just I wanna Oh my gosh.
Robert? Alice, thank God. No one else is... Where are you? Hiding. I'm in the conference room. I, I can't... Jesus, you're still in the lab? I can't get out. There's... What the hell is security? I don't know what's happening, but Robert, you have to get out of there. Come to the elevators. Ooh. Someone said we're evacuating. Robert? Shh. Hang on. Someone's coming. Favorites wheel. Oh, that's brilliant. Oh, geez. Things are going to be really fun. There you are. Game reminds you of the thing. Yeah, I guess you can say that the thing is probably a, was probably an influence for this game for sure. I've never actually seen the movie. I know what the what the movie's about. I've never seen it. I know what the movie's about. Let's see. Stores health by one, cures fear. Of course, alcohol cures fear. Um, do this. We're gonna go find the doctor, or the body of the doctor. The doctor! I'm so in love with this game. This game is really good. I can't wait to play all of this game for you guys cause you're cool. Let's do it. 
We are gonna do it today. We're gonna play y'all a pray. We're gonna play pray, pray, pray. We're gonna play pray, pray, pray all Sunday. Pray, pray, pray all Saturday. Pray, pray, pray. I don't know. Now I can't. I can't verify whether I will be playing pray all Saturday or all Sunday, but we'll be playing a lot of pray. And also expect injustice too. Yes, I did say Injustice 2. We'll be playing the story mode of Injustice 2 when it comes out uh, on the 16th. I got... I got jingles. They jingle, jangle, jingle. Jingle, jangle. Okay. Ready for your first real view of the world? Oh, bro. Questions. This game is messing with me already on a psychological level. I got spoilers. They jingle, 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 jingle. Okay, sorry. I'm not playing uh, Fallout. Shotgun shells. Let's go, let's go to the trauma center. We're gonna, we're gonna go see what happened to the dock. Attention, station leadership has issued an alert. Suit is damaged. The better condition you're suited, the more damage you will absorb from enemy. Use a repair. Okay. Oh. Whoa. Where'd you go? Can't hide from me, Kumbaya. I'm trying to listen. I like that. A top secret Cold War negotiation culminates with Americans and Soviets working together on a research facility named Kletka. Kletka, Russian for cage, produces the skeleton and core emergency systems of what will one day become Talos 1. 1964. After the attempted assassination of Kennedy mm. and Khrushchev's departure, the U.S. pays for the rights to use Kletka as a testing facility. This period, known as Project Axiom, leads to many advancements in next-generation materials and bioscience fundamental to neural modification. 
1980 to 1994, geopolitical developments result in a temporary hold on Project Axiom after the unfortunate Pobeg incident in which two research scientists lose their lives the Kletka facility is decommissioned and cleaned 2025 the Transtar board of directors is established Transtar purchases and privatizes the Kletka facility with a focus on safety and state of the art upgrades Oh, sorry about that. Twenty thirty, Talos One becomes juggling. fully operational, representing a monument of private space industry. The first neuromod is released, allowing for dramatic enhancement to the human mind and body. Okay, hold on, just one second. I just remembered we didn't repair our suit. Yeah. That's going to be something crazy that we have to worry about is repairing our suit. I'm loving this game. I'm, <laughs> I don't like how much damage that the mimics do, but I mean, for a game that's, you know, like Bioshock, you know, the, the enemies used to do a lot of damage in Bioshock, if you guys remember, right? I break the floor. Can I go out in the space. Well, that's interesting. I'm sorry. I'm just. I'm so. Uh, I was like, yeah, we're gonna go to the. We're gonna go to the medical bay, but <laughs> I got sidetracked. It's okay. It's okay. In a game like this, it's okay to get sidetracked. Udon noodles, girl. You know that I love me some udon. Hmm, don't you even pretend that you don't know that I like udon. I love me some udon. What? Whoa! Well, I guess because we don't have the right key card, we're just gonna go to our office. After we grab the Methuselah out. Oop, never mind, we got the trauma center key. I lied. <laughs> What is this? <clears throat> MPP booster shots. Weird. I can't pull up these records up. They're not in the system. You still want me to swing by. Alejandra, please come see me. Can you transfer her charts to family as records as well? Sorry, you should have informed you. NPC wants Chief Insulin, Mild Psychotopic Relief. Should have logged it. Alejandro. Who is NPC being a menace to you? Incoming casualties. Do not take him into the trauma center. Uh huh. Yep, yeah, something bad happened to him. Oh dear gosh. I don't know what that was. 
I don't want to fight that one. Here. Go. Where's my glue gun? I'm getting ready. That was, that was fun. <laughs> you need an Uzi or something. Jeez, I know, right? One utility. Area. System alert. Repair is needed. Please contact a qualified engineer. Awesome. System alert. Repair is needed. Please. Got him. Both of them. Sweet. System alert. Repair is needed. Please contact a qualified engineer. White noise. We're often called white noise due to the telltale spots said to be like static in the victim's eyes. White noise isn't just a medical condition. It's it's more like the wild, almost witch doctor-like claims of a psychic ability. Dr. Dago Ingwe, anyone? It's uh, disenfra It's disenfranchisement. It says the victim can never be, ha never have a neuromon, nor can their brain be mapped. It, it's the end of everything that is about a person. Who is trans star to decide? We will let them add biological caste system to the race. Interesting. We don't have a password for Regina Sellers. Good morning, Talos. Our resident counselor, Dr. Cole, would like to encourage anyone experiencing symptoms of disturbed sleep. Oh, so we can now make med kits. Right? Oh, there we are! Ooh, look at this! Plans. Med kit. We need whatever those. Whatever that means. schedule an appointment in the trauma center. Oh, hello, Martin Gerard. Ooh, medikit. Okay, we're going to increase our health. That's good. You've taken them down to Pound Town. Heck yeah, I did, brother. I totally took them down to Pound Town. Banana pudding. Remain two meters away from glass. 
What the heck are you? Subject appears to be disoriented, paranoid, not sure how much current behavior. Bruh. I want to let him out. Can I let him out? Seven three two four. Is there a way I can save? Yes. Save him before this. What? Must be for some other S two sample. Okay. We're just looking around everywhere at this point. Good cop, bad cop. Good cop, good cop. A typical interrogation subject portrayed by an entertainment media is stubborn, clever, or even arrogant, entering into a verbal sparring match with an interrogating officer. While this makes for good drama, it's a poor representation of actual cases. It's important to note that a majority of suspects want to talk. Let them provide some prompts, but only to keep the words flowing. Do not attempt to direct them, but just keep them talking. My experience in case studies back this, that been that most people will move forward, move toward the information you want to know if you just listen to them and reaffirm their assumptions when they need it. Well, I think he's just a mirror. Uh, just I think he's being mind controlled. That's, that's what I said. Psychological list. Study shows that there is a significant likelihood of behavioral conditions and psychiatric disorders emerging from the populations of a crew stationed for a longer than three months. Impacts of behavioral issues are minimized with an appropriate tools for monitoring mood and predicting risk, while including as many Earth-like amenities and recreations as possible. I want to get in there. I want to get in there and see what's going on with the utilities. Let's see. Behavior test. Uh, yes. New yes. test started. Give me those files. We'll listen to this while we're exploring a little bit. EMP charge. Highly, highly effective against robots, turrets, and other electrical-based entities can be thrown. Okay, cool. No, that, that's. No, I, I don't. Um, are, are you sure? Oh, where did you get that drawing? Have you been spying on me? I don't want to talk to you anymore. Sorry. 
Um, let's eat something to get our some. We did get a neuro mod. Let's use this. Yes. Oh, that's cool. Okay. So now I can pick up items and damage enemies. That is a neat little feature. All right, let's listen to Sarah Elazar. Let's listen to the last one. These psych evals are a waste of time. A waste of time? Like back on Earth? That was different. Was it? Anger, issues with authority. A year of counseling doesn't sound like a trivial matter. Those files were supposed to be closed. Are you angry? I'm getting there. Any... New relationships? No. I thought you and Miss Foy, the sanitation engineer, were seen together. She's a sanitation boss, and we're not in a relationship. Not anymore. Ah. And this separation, did it involve anger? Issues with the authority? Screw this! I'm done. Report me to the U's, I don't care. They're putting the station at risk, just like Transtar North. We got the code. We're doing it. We're doing it, guys. We got the code. You assholes will bury it with your psychobell bullshit. And another thing. Whoa. He just blew up. His head just blew up. Dev rays. Seven three two four. All right. So I think we've contact a qualified engineer. I think we've investigated a little good. We're gonna have to get the information that Bro is in the Okay. Okay.
Psychotronics Morgue is on the other side. I'm one of those people, and you guys will figure that out, because this will probably be a long streaming series, because I'm going to explore this as much as possible. Um, I'm one of those people that when I play games like this, like I am like a completionist. So I want to experience everything. I want to see everything. Um, no matching key card to get into Psychotronics. Whoa. Suit integrity Whoa. Caught me off guard. Okay, though. No use. Oh. They they got me good. They I thought that they, they were a med kit. Oh, and to complete what I was saying, I don't even know if I could, if I even finished what I was saying because I got thrown off by the mimics. Um, I like to explore everything. I like to, uh, hold on, I'll read that here in a second. I like to explore everything, and I like to do all the side quests first. So that's the reason I'm doing all this running around and stuff. Excerpt from the article Stairway to Heaven by Dr. Angela M. Allen. Early United States dominance of the first operational space elevator, White Stork Tower, has allowed them to control almost all orbital activities and commerce. Now the rest of the world is playing, playing catch up. The world of Union, of Union of Space Industries has calculated that using the Stork facility to aid in construction of the second space elevator will result in the construction costs that are one quarter of the original. Uh, understandably, U.S. officials have balked that the idea of helping competitors build a cheaper platform that could give them a competitive advantage. Stork representatives maintain that the sizable investment risks for the original platform justify the protection of this economic space. In the meantime, Woosie has aggravatedly moved the purchase of ideal sites for the future space elevators, essentially space-age squatting. How 
Did we get into... Psychotronics more? We need the right key card. And I don't think we got a key card. Let's check our objectives. It may be in the morgue. I doubt it. There's something Don't know what that means Pharmaceutical. I don't have a key card for that either. All right, we're gonna we're just gonna go up to our office, as we, it was nicely put. Take note. Please move these remaining boxes to my new office in Neuromod div as soon as possible. Oh, so this was Blamey's office. Sylvian, I'm trusting you with my brain. You do good work. Hopefully, so hopefully that it continues to listen. Listen, if test goes well, if something happens, let Alex know that I can, it wasn't his fault. I signed up for this. Also, if the test drag on, consider moving your office down to Sam. Less has handle. You can always move back to celebrate our success. So I did this to myself. Lovely. I did this to myself. Consciousness, the fire and the equations. The nature of consciousness remains a deeply mysterious. How can the subject, na subjective nature of experiences, my inner life, be explained in the scientific terms? Does consciousness emerge from the complex reputations among the brain neurons? Or is it a fundamental and irreductible property woven into the fabric of the universe. Interesting. Interesting. Oh. I like turrets. Turrets are nice. Morgan Yu, VP Director of Research. What? Too far too fast. In Kennedy's second term, the space race reached a single new heights, and without his support, may have sputtered completely. A succession of moon launches heralded the coming of an accelerated energy energetic space program, both with the halls of government and the public eye. The usual time, especially in contrast with Kennedy's first term, rather than being simply a race between two powers, the Soviets and the United States seem to be reaching out to space together. Interesting. Ooh, so this is how I make... Oh, med kit. Thank you. And 
bastard. Hmm. Oh, okay. So this is what I do. I do... I transfer all the junk, which is all that stuff that we picked up. Oh. And we recycle. Now we pick up all of these. And we we can make fabric we can make uh items with this. Start. Oh, so we can make a new wrench. Interesting. I want a med kit. Interesting. Apple. Alright, let's go to my workstation. Note. Good morning, Morgan. I got a I got the plan you you requested. It's in your safe. Free neuromods. Watch me, Morgan. Hello, Morgan. This is LGV tie should clear things up. Make sure you're alone when you hit play. All right. Whoa. This is neat. And we'll watch more of it here in a second after we use one of our med kits. Hello, Morgan. Tough day, right? If I'm talking to myself, it must be. And your memory's shot full of holes. I know. I'm sorry, but it's permanent. So the first thing you need to know is you can trust January. It's an operator, a sort of backup of you and me. It knows what you've forgotten. We've been testing a new kind of neuromod based on the Typhon organisms, mapping their neural patterns onto ours. Problem is, when you uninstall a neuromod, it resets your memory back to the moment you first put it in. That's why you forget. There's supposed to be a process to bring you back up to speed between test runs. But someone could just skip that part, turn a single day into your entire life. Well, that's exactly what Alex did. The question is, why? You're not gonna like what I have to say next. Check our email. You made it. Sorry, Morgan. Alex cut us off from the Looking Glass servers. Time to improvise. I suggest you search Dr. Calvino's workshop in the hardware labs. He invented the Looking Glass technology. You might find a way to restore the server connections there. I'm looking for another way to help you in the meantime. Good luck. Well, thank you, January. I still don't know what happened, but I put this behind me. There's no reason we can't be civil. You passed me in the hall today, and you looked through me, and you're angry at... If you're, if you're angry at something I did, tell me, and we can talk about it. Pretending you don't even know who I am isn't going to help. We still have to work together, Mika. 
connected to Morgan. I have requested your terminal logs be set to automatically forwarded to your suite and crew quarters and f supplies from hardware set up. Let me know if you're all right and I'll get it resolved. Like last week, I'll make sure that you aren't disturbed in interim. Let me know if there's anything else you can do. I'll hold down the fort outside your office, Jason. Well, things got interdastin. Oh, I forgot to use our neuro mods. We got three of them. No, we're gonna use neuro mods. Um. What is this? I want to try. I'm weird. I'm I'm one of those people that I like to take advantage. Like I imagine, if you search through everything, there's gonna be. Oh, okay. Well, that can be easily solved there, Matthew. Boom. Done. Um. I'm one of those people that when I get like stuff like this, like neuromods, I want to get all the abilities. So we're going to invest in all the ones that are one first. That way. Okay, so all the ones have gotten. So now we're going to go with the twos. You know, that way we're getting everything we need. Oh, Jason is my assistant. Interesting. Oh, hacking. Hacking is a skill. Mm -hmm. Well, that's neat. Combat basics. I know how to do combat. Okay. I'm gonna set this sucker up. Submitted. Deploying. Target lost. Oh. We got a gun. Nominal tilt handling error. Please contact engineering. Current, buddy. We need to go. I need you to maintain professionality and I need you to protect me at all given times. Sorry, I went the Torbjorn method and I wanted to help it, but I, I seems that that didn't work. All right, I'm just gonna take this back to my office. I did something. You're not just weird. I just threw. Okay. 
I'm gonna put the adjustment back on. Okay. Check to my office is I have a feeling that's gonna be like a hub. Upgrade. Oh, what is this? Well, if we're going to be able to do upgrades, you know damn well I'm going to upgrade that glue gun to its max potential. Alright, we have the capabilities to get to Psychotronic, I believe. Whoa! Uh, by the Obviously, my vital signs are critical. Let's eat an apple. Gain some casual health back and when that ends. Hopefully. Okay. I'm trying to save our medical packs for when we need them. Kind of fell through there. You see that? I'm a smooth operator. Sales division. Oh, that helped so much. Whoa! Ooh, shotgun shells. We're gonna get a shotgun eventually. Hero mod. Oh, okay. No power to that. Oh. <sighs> Here we. Exports. You can't ship it home. It's already been noticed. One month pay makes it go away. Well. I don't think we have to worry too much about the side effects. From what I gathered, it's just a little pinprick near the eye, right? I mean, it looks scary, but I think if we can get enough advertising to push some more appealing pros of neuromods, we can shift public attention from that. I'm not too worried about the red eye stuff either. I don't think any one person in the public sector is going to manage to get their hands on many neuromods at one time. Not at these prices. What if I find far more worrying, though, are these reports of memory loss during neuromod removal? I mean, amnesia seriously can't. We, we can rewire a person's brain, give them any skill we want, but we can't avoid resetting their head back to the moment where they got the crap restalled if we decide to take it out. If this leaks, it'll kill neuromod sales. It doesn't matter if you need a specialized equipment and training to take it out. No one wants to lose, well, no one wants the risk of losing years of their life for the ability to speak French. This can't even go in the fine print. As far as the customer is concerned, neuromods are permanent. 
that's actually a good idea. Thank you for four Neuromods. Now we have five. What is this? Oh, I'm getting that early. That is probably one of the best things I've been able to get. Now we can fully get into them and get all this extra stuff. And we can use their organs as um, to fabricate neuromods from what it was just saying there, if I read that correctly. Transstar Life Employee Profile. In this edition of Transstar's Rising Star segment, we profile Harley Granger, a member of the Neuromod sales team who currently stationed aboard Talos One. Some of you might recognize Harley's name from his professional baseball days when he played second base and wore the number 66 for the Tornadoes. Harley was assigned to Talos One two years ago and has made the journey into orbit and back over 50 times. Not bad for someone who's, who is afraid of flying. My time playing baseball forced me to deal with that which I fear, he said. Believe it or not, a shuttle flight to Talos 1 is far easier than a cross-country airliner trip. Well, I'm glad that worked out for you, my boy. My boy, my boy. Space elevator. I'm pretty sure I've already read the space elevator. Ooh, give me that, give me them drinks. All right, so. Great. Of course, his workshop would be behind. A whole bunch of glue. What do we got over here? Can I feel you cigar? Okay. And our dust in for sure. All right, we're going to do this. Oh, no. Did you see that? I missed it completely. It wasn't, it wasn't like a, oh, hey, um, <laughs> you're, you're, you, you got on and slipped through. No, I just, I, I, I missed it completely. What? Did I use my, did I get, I didn't. And now we have it, once again. Boom, red, boom, what? Boom, red. Boom, red. Drink, 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 drink. That's what I was trying to do. Is 
somehow I knew that was going to happen. I'm not even going to lie. Excuse me? Gee whiz. Working aboard a space station like Talos is comparable to working on Earth. Employees tend to forget that they are in space and they adapt very well. By contrast, a trove of psychological and behavioral data has been compiled by the decade-long study by the Pythias employees. The Pythias facility sits deeper in the crater on the lunar pole, permanently shadowed and surrounded by kilometers of ice. Beneath Pythias is a vast network of cramped tunnels where helium-3, hydrogen, and platinum are mined. This is a dark, cold, often terrifying workplace cut off from the warm glow of Earth, which extracts heavy and often fatal toll on the crew. Where? You damn mimics with your, with your damn jumping out all over the places. I don't like it. I don't like it. I can see my foot. Hey, foot. What is this? Well, shoot. I broke the magazine. New transcribe. I got a plan. Fellas, ladies and gentlemen. What? Good morning, Talos. It says my inventory is full. You know what I do? Eat! As a reminder, all personnel must complete monthly physicals during their stay aboard Talos 1. Dr. DeVries promises to make them as quick and painless as possible. So we've been through the staff room. There's nothing here. Oh. Here we go. So let's put some stuff into the recycler. Perfect. Oh, that's nifty. Oh, 
Oh my goodness. We need whatever that is, blah. All right, guys. Well, I think I'm going to save workstations. Okay. Hold on. No. Nope. There we go. What? what? Save. Confirm. Exit. Confirm. All right, guys. Well, I think I'm going to end it here. Uh, I am having lots of fun with this game so far. Um, there's so much to explore and I'm really looking forward to it. If you guys want me to do like a lot of, if you guys just want to cut to like mission stuff, I can do mission stuff for you guys if that's what you want. Put that information in the comments below. It lets me know so much and it's helpful to me as a streamer to know that that content is, is coming out. So if you guys want to just see that, keep it close. Uh, keep it posted in the comments, but I, I, I think you guys will enjoy the whole journey because I'm enjoying the whole journey. This game is great. It, it is it is everything I hoped it would be, and I want nothing more than to live in this game right now. Like it is it is everything. But I have work in the morning, so <laughs> I'm not gonna be playing anymore today. I will probably be playing some more tomorrow for you guys, depending on whether or not I go see Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Two because I really want to go see that. But do expect more Prey. Do expect New Age Soviet. More live streams. The hiatus is over and I'm ready to be back. So I'm happy to be back with you guys. We're going to have lots of awesome content coming to the channel very soon. That is my promise to you, the viewers. Thank you all so much for watching. If you guys are watching live on Twitch and you guys... Ha and you're just like, uh, what about this guy? Like, what? I like him. Like, how do I keep in contact with him? Click that follow button. Let's me know that you guys like me and you guys want to keep up with my content. If you guys are watching this as a past broadcast on YouTube, goodness, you guys are champs. This video is over two hours long. I want to thank you so much for watching all of it. Um, if you guys like what you saw, hit that like button. If you guys liked the video, uh, um, me, hit the subscribe button. Let's me know that you like me and my content and you guys want to keep up with me and my content. Um, in the links on my description, both on Twitch, and on YouTube, there is a link to my Discord server. Please, please, please click on that. And let's uh, join, join my family on Discord. But hands down, it is the best way to keep in contact with me and know when I am streaming. Because sometimes I forget to tweet. Sometimes I forget to do an announcement video on YouTube. I never forget to put out video uh, announcements on Discord. So that is the best way to keep in contact for when I am streaming. And plus, we have lots of fun over there. So I um, want to build my community and have lots of fun with you guys. Um, I am back, and we're, we're, we're going to get into some crazy shenanigans. Also, if you guys are ever so interested, though you, it's never necessary, tip information is in the description on Twitch and on YouTube. Um, if you guys ever feel so obligated, you guys can donate money to me, and anything you guys donate to me will be put back into the channel for the formation of new games and equipment. That way I can provide you guys with the best possible content I can give you. Um, right now I'm happy giving you with what I can, which is just an Xbox. Um, but you know, the next logical step could be I get a connect for face cam. So you know, if you guys donate for that, there's that. There's a, there's the goal of hopefully getting a, uh, a, P a gaming PC in the future. And I have set a high budget for that. So anything helps. <laughs> But once again, thank you all so much for watching. 
I will see you guys the next time I stream Prey or Overwatch or whatever. I'm happy to be back. That was Verdania's my comrades, and I will see you all in the next installment. Peace.